Okay, let's go back to oh, living in Miami, yeah. six million dollar house on the ocean. Yeah, COVID hits, mushrooms come out. My a lot of mushrooms come out. I have my own jet ski in the backyard. Um, I was popping. Uh, I was taking th the normal dose of taking mushrooms to get high is three point five grams. I was taking thirty every other day because if you take it every day you can't get high so i'll wait till it leaves my body and take it and i'll go on my jet ski in the middle of the ocean through a thunderstorm lightning and just listening to music and just living life you it just was, dude i was just in the different zone like i was happy what like, are you just, seeing out there everything dude yeah it was awesome yeah it was cool of course i did on the sunny days too but like listening to ram does the spiritual books like you know i was going alone like in the middle of the ocean not bothering during anybody, a storm no. Oh, during the storm was the best time. Does that sound crazy to the you? The first time I bought the jet ski was a storm at the helicopter. The helicopter came out after the storm. All the Coast Guards came out, and the, but the ocean is free, so they can't tell me to slow down. So they just surrounded me, waiting oh for something God. to happen. Yeah. You're out there. You're out there in the ocean. Yeah. You're high as a kite. Yeah. Are well, you, there's times I'm sober, too. Are but. you seeing things? Like what, when, when the Coast Guard rolls up around you and you're high on mushrooms, what do you see? I laugh at them. Are, are Coast Guards like no, no, they robots? Didn't come, no, they... they didn't come close to me. What I did, I was like, how do I not die going through? Because the jet ski goes 90 miles an hour. So how do I not die flying through a wave? You see every single detail in the wave, how it's going to break, how it's going to go. So I'm just following the path. Actually? Oh, yeah. You think you're seeing it or you actually No, I'm actually... It? I haven't fell off my jet ski the whole run. time you're I haven't drilling fell off into a brick run. wall i'm going 60 <laughs> miles an hour through waves and i haven't crashed my jet ski once i mean because i don't just go and hold it like uh, you know like how people cut lanes bro, you're, and just you're hold. like a you're like a drug salesman bro <laughs> every drug you're talking about sounds good i'm cutting through I, waves i can see the future I, no bike and mushrooms are good i never had a bad trip until no. that one time where i flew so i was a COVID, um COVID mushrooms i was bored I was shooting battalion sensor. People were scared to fly to my house because mm. of COVID. Mm. So I was alone. You know? So I was like, I'm going to take my jet ski and have fun alone. And my friends decided to come to shoot for battalion censored. And you know, when they say, when you take mushrooms with other people, you might have a bad trip. So I decided to double my dosage. I took 60 grams of mushrooms. That's 17 times more than an average person should take. I know, pushing to the limit, like my pranks, like everything in but life. That's what I talked about in my video on my YouTube channel. Cause I'm crazy. And then, yeah, took those mushrooms. Everyone takes mushrooms, but obviously normal dosage. Everyone just starts throwing up in my house. I would have my house. Like that's what mushrooms mm -hmm. make you do, you know, and started getting it. And uh, it took, took one person to piss me off out of my friends. He pissed me off and I don't know what changed in my brain. Everything, I thought I was dying. I, I thought the whole world is stripping. I made, I poisoned the whole world and I said, everyone hates me. I thought about you. I thought about all the biggest YouTubers that I worked with. So like, mm. nobody's ever going to work with me again. Like, like, I feel like I manifested this because that what, the incident happened 15 minutes later. I, I thought I had cops on my roof with snipers. I hear voices. If you get on the ground, Vitaly, get on the ground. And I literally get on the ground. There's nobody on my roof. And they're just like, get on the ground. I was like, just you know, I, at this point, I was like, could just shoot me. Like, I was like, open my mouth, close. It was terrible. I had to, I was panicking and I'm like, please guys, shut up. And they keep trying laughing and talking to me. I'm like, watching ah, crazy. I'm going crazy. Like, I, so I live like a, a block away from the beach. So I just started, I started jogging to the beach. I was like, no, 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 no. Something bad's going to happen. I need to go back. So I'll go back to the house. They start talking again. I'm like, dude, it was just so bad. I was like the whole, I hear my mom. My mom lives in LA. She's like, Vitaly, everything's going to be okay. I lay on the ground in the middle of the road and I'm counting down. It says from 60 seconds, when it hits one second, I'm dead. So I'm getting ready to die. I'm like, 60, oh my 50, God. 58, 58. My chest was pumping out. I couldn't breathe. You hear the birds, the parrots flying around you. I'm like, the house is just, dude, it was bad. And then I'm running for help to people. Like people are getting scared. And I, I thought all I, I just have flashbacks from this. I see this girl jogging and she's the TMZ article lied. I did not jump out of the bushes. She's running towards me. Oh, last thing I remember is she, I, I'm, please help, please help. And I tried to hug her and she pushed me or whatever. And, and, uh, yeah, the, you know, I hit her and I realized what I was doing on top of her. And I was like, what the, and I'd even run back to the house. The article says I tried to hit in my house. I didn't know what was happening. I walked back to the house and then my, my security 
came five minutes late because my friends called my security were like we can't calm the tally down mm. you need to be here now and he's like an ex-cop like i just needed to get knocked out by my friends like i'm sorry they shouldn't have done that but and uh, you know and then he came and then he's like somebody wants to speak to you outside um, and i'm like what i'm like so high police i'm like okay well sure i haven't done nothing wrong and i walk outside and they just hang off me there's a video on youtube they arrest me but while they're arresting me i think that they're, they're tripping the cops are tripping and i was like i need to save this whole world so i'm trying in the video i say listen guys listen and i can't continue because i can't put my speech together but what i was going to try to tell him if you turn off your sirens and you stop talking and let me go to sleep i'll wake up sober and you guys will be sober but when you're on mushrooms you can't put two that much mushrooms you can't put two and two words together and then i just remember going to jail and coming closer to the reality and then somebody told me what happened i was like what am i charged for and just that's it my life just crashed and yeah actually i have a letter that i wrote to her the next day to the girl that nobody knows about it and would you guys like me to read it for you do you have that are you yeah you I, have, I have it on my, my next question was have you spoke to I this woman spoke to her till this day wow that's how i tried to lay her apology letter like obviously she shouldn't forgive me but I, how sorry i'm that's not me i had no i don't i didn't know her i didn't know what i did oh, you were like, a demon yeah but demons the thing came out of me bro i didn't know yeah I mean, it could have been a guy, it could have been anybody. It's not just I was big, oh, let me yeah. find a helpless girl and do this to her. I didn't know what I was doing at a time. Yeah. So I wrote her, tried to learn her apology letter and to reach out to my lawyer. I didn't know her name, nothing. Like I was going to give, dude, I was ready to give her all my whole world, bro. I just felt, I still, still to this day, I just feel terrible that I haven't spoken, you know. I mean, it is, it's the law. You can't. So. You haven't spoken to her. You don't even know if she's read the letter she read the letter she has read the she letter. read the letter yeah. just through lawyers through lawyers is yeah. this a current situation that's still active? i'm still not allowed to talk about what how it ended but okay oh my, my charges got dismissed oh they have yeah i'm not a felon so anymore this is over yeah it's always oh, it's been know over. That. oh it's been over i did not know oh that. wow yeah uh, yeah it's been over my charges got dismissed i was getting deported but yeah. Uh, okay so the felony charges have dropped dismissed yeah, like as in she dropped them mm -hmm. or like your lawyers got them dropped or my lawyers say? came to agreement but okay. i can't say more than okay. that okay that's typical court we've yeah. been in we've been in some suits where you can't yeah you, you can. can't speak yeah. of yeah um <sighs> that's the last time you did mushrooms yes i would hope so so this situation has definitely changed your life yeah i did i was broken it I wasn't lost. next day all my brand deals dropped me i was making so much money from yeah, the deals. world dropped you yeah the world and I, I have nobody to blame but myself so it's not like i'm asking for forgiveness from yeah. any of these people watching or listening i fucked up i take the full responsibility yeah. and i know it will never happen again but shit happens i fucked up badly you yeah. know and yeah i was just suicidal bro i was sitting in my i lost the house and uh, i was just living i'm so sorry my lawyer <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> Got him on speed. Because I, I wanted to ask him what I can speak about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, and, uh, well I, I think... I, I think, no, we keep I think it you've... Clean, I think yeah. you've... Uh, as far as court goes, I think you've been safe. Yeah, no. Um, where did I live off? Lift off? Or? Um, oh, about suicidally. I lost the house. I just... Uh, I didn't want to walk on the streets, bro. I was just so embarrassed, man. I didn't want to get to a grocery store. I didn't want to buy water. I didn't want to do anything like I just didn't want to do anything and it took me a long time to get out of the house and kind of be normal again but people are still coming up to me and tell me how much they love me you know all the online hate nobody ever said it to my face yeah that's uh, but still like when you know when you should like you go to a meeting or shake the other people's hand and you're like looking them in the eyes do they know this or not that's what's killing mm. me inside they do that's probably the answer I think they, I mean, you, you say yeah. they do. A lot of yeah. people that I talked to, some didn't know until I brought it up. So, well, I didn't know anything about the results or no, not the results about even the yeah. whole situation. But yeah, I have the apology video to my fans and let the world know how badly I fucked up and because of drugs and alcohol, because that's not who I am. And hopefully, you know, I'm not asking for forgiveness, but I guess actions speak louder than words, and I'll show yeah. the world you that have to I'm, earn it. I'm a decent human mm -hmm. being. You definitely have to earn it now. Yeah wow man what a roller coaster yeah i think for us it was like you had a boxing fight yeah. not long ago we posted mm, true always you know we've been with you for how many years yeah, forever for 11 we'll, 12 years we'll literally yeah. always support you no matter Thank what you, your family it. and the hate that i got for supporting you i was like 
holy cow, I had no idea like people actually felt that way. Yeah. Um, so it was a, a big eye opening to us that's like, okay, people mess up, mm-hmm. but no matter what, we're gonna support you in no matter what you yeah, do. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. A lot of people yeah, yeah, a lot of people got scared and backed off, but like yeah, there's the a lot of, there's a lot of people that didn't. A lot of people yeah. like, no, we love you, this is not who you are. And you know, yeah, I and think, we I know think that. as 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 family, like I can I consider you somebody I love and care Thank about. You. So when something bad happens um to anybody in my family, I would want to see them become the best version of themselves eventually. Uh, and to become a new person. And I would want, if I really messed up, I would hope that I still had support from those that love me. Yeah. Yeah. So for a situation like you, um, gosh, I remember back when Logan was getting canceled for the forest stuff. It was like, I know these people and I care about these people. So I still look at them as somebody I care about and mm-hmm. I want what's best for them. Mm-hmm. 